Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's legacy of wisdom and grace will continue to inspire generations across the world. President Ratu William Ekatanibere shared this during the commemoration and thanksgiving service for the life of the late Queen held at the State House this morning. The service was attended by the Acting Prime Minister, uh, Chief uh, Justice, members of the Parliament, heads of diplomats, heads of the disciplinary forces and many others. Mironi Mili was at the State House and filed this report. And I pray that Almighty shall grant Her Majesty internal rest, shall impart a comfort and peace on the royal family during this time and grant His Majesty King Charles III the strength of will and clarity as he takes over from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The President Ratu William Ekatoniveri says Fiji, the late Queen and the royal family have shared many good memories over the years of her reign. Her Majesty lived a full life, a rich life devoted to public service as well as a life shared with the public. And I thank our Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Warenga Marama, for making the long journey to London to represent our people at the funeral service to honor Her Majesty's life and legacy. He says throughout her life, the Queen personified service and became a symbol of stability. I've always believed that the true essence of a person is truly seen when they pass on. This is true. And Her Majesty's speech from Cape Town on, April, on 21st April 1947, and I quote, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong, unquote. The President Ratu William Ekatoniveri says Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II led a life that was instrumental in Fiji's history, a history that saw her visit our shores six times and deliver speeches to chiefs and the public here at Albert Park. I am transported to the different times Her Majesty traveled to Fiji in 1953 and 1963 when Fiji was a crown colony and then in 1977 in 1982, as the Queen of the Dominion of Fiji, during all her visits, Her Majesty solidified Fiji's relationship with the Crown. We are equally blessed that the Speaker of Parliament and former President, Honorable Ratu Epele Nalitikau, who was the honorary aide de camp to Her Majesty during this visit. For many Fijians, the late Queen's life, leadership and journey exemplified many seasons in life. I cannot remember a time or season in my life when the Queen was not there. And I think for most of us, that would be our experience, although a number of us may not have met her personally. Yesterday evening at around 10 p.m. Fiji Standard Time, 11 a.m. British Summer Time, the world witnessed the state funeral service of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II at the Westminster Abbey in London. The whole world joined the royal family in a befitting farewell and thanksgiving to God for the life, the leadership, and the journey of a God-fearing global leader, a defender of the faith, a supreme governor of the Church of England, a woman of substance, and a unique influence on all generations. Dean of the Anglican Church, the very Reverend Orisi Wuki conducted the commemoration service, remembering before God the life of the Queen. A fitting tribute and farewell to a queen who's loved by her family, the UK and the Commonwealth. Marioni Mili, Fiji One News.